Hello everyone and welcome to Network Playroom. In this video we're going to look at the OSPF Type 5 LSA or the X AS External LSA. So the AS External LSAs are originated by ASBRs and they describe destinations external to the AS. And AS External LSAs usually describe a particular external destination. And for these LSAs, the link state ID field specifies an IP network number. So this field right here would indicate the network number. And of course, the type 5 LSA is specified in this field. As you should know by now, this part here is the common LSA header, which is the same for all different LSA types. We've talked about this in my previous video, so I will not go over those fields again. But besides describing a particular network, external network, the ASA ex AS external LSAs are also used to describe a default route. And when describing a default route, the link state ID and the network mask are both 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. So the network mask field is right here. This is something that I forgot to mention in my previous videos about the type 3 LSA or the network summary LSA. So similarly to the AS external LSA, the link state ID field in the type 3 LSA would be the network number and the network mask would be the subnet mask. But the network mask and the link state ID fields can be 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 for default route, just as I've just discussed about the AS external LSA. But now let's actually look at the fields in more detail. So the network mask here is of course self-explanatory and it's the IP address mask for the advertised destination. Now, this little thing here is very interesting because the E or external metric bit specifies the type of external metric to be used with this route. And if the E bit is set to 1, the metric type is E2. And if the E bit is set to 0, the metric type is E1. So this field defines whether the metric is E1 or E2. We haven't discussed this before and I will probably make another separate video talking about the different metric types. There's also two other types uh, called N1 and N2 which apply to the type 7 LSA which I'm going to explain in the next video. But just to briefly summarize it here so the e bit so if it is zero then the type is e1 and if if the e equals 1 then the metric type is E2. Okay, and then of course this field, the metric field, is the cost of the route as set by the ASBR. Now, the forwarding address, this is another interesting field. Wow, it's starting to get a little messy here. Hmm. Let me let me erase these a little bit. So the forwarding address is the address to which packets for the advertised destination should be forwarded. And if the forwarding address is 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0 
packets are forwarded to the originating ASBR. Now there are some tricks to the forwarding address that I will probably discuss in another separate video as well. I don't want to go over it here now because it can get a little bit tricky. So we'll save that to another time. But then moving on, we have the external route tag field, which is an arbitrary tag that may be applied to the external route. And this field is not used by the OSPF protocol itself, but is instead provided for external route management. Again, this field uh, is something that I would go over in another video, but it's good to be aware of it at this point. And then finally, the TOS specific information may also be included for backward compatibility with previous versions of the OSPF specification. But again, Cisco supports only TOS equal to zero. So we're not going to worry about these fields. So never mind those. <laughs> um, and as you can see, the same field just repeat at the towards the end of the diagram. So I'm not going to cover those again. Um, so let's jump to the packet capture so you can see the type 5 LSA in more detail. So I have the link state update packet open here. And let's scroll down a little bit to find the LSA type number 5, which is right here. AS external LSA. So here you can see in the link state ID field, this is the network number 172.16.3.0. The advertising router is 2.2.2.2. So you know that this is an ASBR because the type 5 LSA are originated by the ASBR. And the network mask is 255.255.255.0. And here you can see that the bit is set to one, the E bit is set to one, uh, which means that it's an E2 metric type. And here is the actual metric for this route. And then the forwarding address is 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0, which again meant that the packets are forwarded to the originating ASBR. And to quickly recap, in my last video, I mentioned that the type 4 and type 5 LSAs tie together. So basically, the type 5 AS external LSA tells you how to reach, reach external networks. And the type 4 ASBR summary LSA tells you how to reach the ASBR itself who advertised them. So if we can go back to this one, you can see that this is the type 4 LSA for the 2.2.2.2 ASBR. And yeah, the net mask uh, is 0 .0 .0 .0, 0.0.0.0, which is expected for this type of field. So this tells the metric to reach the ASBR. And then this is the metric to reach the route from the ASBR. So the total cost for that path would be 100 plus 20. So 120. So this is how OSPF looks at the information and makes those route calculations. Uh, but here, let's look at another type 5 LSA. So Again, in the link state ID field, you can find the network number. And uh, here's the network mask. And the metric type is E2. The actual metric is 100 and the forwarding address is 0, .0, .0, 0, 0.0.0.0. 
Mm. Let me see if there are any other metric types here that might be interesting to see. I didn't look at this in advance. Uh, no. But anyway, the difference would be that you would see, you see that number one here that indicates that the bit is set. And what that meant was that is that the metric type is E2. So the difference would be that here you would see a zero at the beginning of the line and the external metric type would be type one. All right, but let's then jump to the Cisco documentation. So the command show IPOSBF database external is used to display the AS external LSAs. So let me scroll down to try and find that for you, how it would look like on the command line. And right here. So here you can see that this LSA is advertising the network 10.105.0.0 and the advertising router or the ASBR is 172.16.70.6. So that's the router ID of the ASBR. And here we have the network mask. It's a slash 16 network mask and the metric type is E2 and the metric is one forwarding address is 0, .0, .0, 0. And then finally, here's the information that you can find in the RFC 2328. And here's the diagram again. Okay, but that's it for this video. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.